A blockbuster fusion of the G.I. Joe and Transformers universes is no longer just a pipe dream. It's officially on the cards thanks to Paramount's big reveal. Leading the charge as executive producer is none other than Steven Spielberg, whose storied career in helming mega projects pretty much guarantees a shot at success. With Spielberg at the helm, we can expect a reinvigorated Transformers saga that's not only gripping but also a potential cash cow. Spielberg's magic touch has historically translated big ideas into even bigger box office hits, which Paramount is undoubtedly banking on. However, the director's chair remains conspicuously empty despite the crossover concept being teased by Stephen Cappell Jr., the brain behind Rise of the Beasts in the climactic scenes of Transformers 7. The teaser itself is a telltale nod to the burgeoning Hasbro cinematic universe. It features Noah aspiring to be a security guard caught in what seems like a run-of-the-mill job interview. Michael Kelly, the interviewer, is hardly impressed with Noah's resume until Noah spins a yarn about his recent world-saving escapade. Seemingly far-fetched, yet compelling enough to earn him a mysterious business card and an invitation to join an elite team. As Noah is swayed by an offer to treat his brother, a secret door swings open, revealing a military base replete with aircraft and armament. A closer look at the business card reveals the iconic G.I. Joe logo. This scene confirming the link to the beloved toy series that pioneered the action figure category in the 60s, complete with comics, animated shows, and movies showcasing an elite force battling nefarious villains. That cleverly sets the stage for a shared cinematic universe that is slowly but surely coming to life. Indeed, the crossover between the G.I. Joe and Transformers isn't just a stroke of Hollywood innovation. It's rooted in a comic series from the 80s published by Marvel. Although these comics weren't bestseller hits and didn't reach high levels of hype, they hold a special place in the hearts of old-school Hasbro fans. The story itself kicks off with the Cobra organization discovering a Decepticon spaceship on Earth. Driven by their world-conquering ambitions, they begin to harness the Decepticon's extraterrestrial technologies to boost their military capabilities like modifying their vehicles and weaponry into more powerful and dangerous machines capable of transforming and executing diverse military functions. As the saga unfolds, folds, Decepticons, including major villains like Megatron, Shockwave, and Starscream, awaken and form a nefarious alliance with Cobra to defeat G.I. Joe and Autobots. Cobra Commander, the quintessential behind-the-scenes villain, orchestrates operations, manipulating Decepticon technology to further his sinister objectives. Meanwhile, Megatron aims to exploit Cobra's resources and standing to conquer Earth and annihilate the Autobots and their G.I. Joe allies. This leads to epic battles and intense conflicts involving all four factions. The comic series was marked by thrilling combat, clever plotting, and dramatic twists, exploring themes of friendship, betrayal, and unity against common foes. The upcoming film intends to draw heavily from these narrative threads, promising a blend of nostalgia and fresh cinematic dynamism. Viewers are now buzzing with questions about whether the previous G.I. Joe movies will be considered canon or if we are on the brink of reboot. While franchise has its own series of films, the latest released in 2021 was Snake Eyes, a solo origin story featuring Henry Golding. This film largely stood apart from the earlier dialogy, leading to speculation about whether Golding's character will be linked to the new Transformers project or exist in a separate narrative thread. With both the Transformers and G.I. Joe franchises having established significant fan bases, the excitement over their potential cinematic union is palpable. It's worth noting that upcoming movie is set to delve deeply into the origins of Energon, suggesting that the franchise still has many stories to explore. Questions remain, such as how the character of Megatron will be reimagined in this evolving storyline. Furthermore, the post credit scene of Rise of the Beasts teased future interactions between Mirage and Noah, hinting at a continuation of their storyline which could enrich their dynamics in future movies. Speculation is also rife about the return of Stephen Cappell Jr. to the director's chair and Anthony Ramos reprising his role as Noah in the upcoming crossover. As for the release date, assuming production and filming proceed without delays, the earliest we might expect the film could be 2020. 26. Subscribe.